Hey everyone, John from Nintendo Life here, and today I'm really excited to show you all Relicta. This video is sponsored by the beautiful folks at Kosh Media, but all things I express in this video are my own opinions and thoughts. So I'm actually really excited for this game. This has been on my radar for a while, and it's just launched on Nintendo Switch. This was previously a Steam game, and on the Steam store right now, it has a 9 out of 10 rating, so it's held in a pretty high regard. Uh, there's also a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One version, which begs the question, how well have they done bringing this game to the Switch? And in my opinion, it's really good. So this is quite a high-end Unreal Engine 4 game. So to be able to bring this sort of visual fidelity to what's essentially a tablet is crazy. Uh, it's a really great looking game. And I'm someone who's quite into this sort of genre. It's a first person puzzle game with quite a few supernatural elements. Um, and it's something that I just really resonate highly with. They said a uh, funny override. You didn't see any other F word down there. So this is basically the tutorial area. And again, just look how good this looks on the Switch. So the mechanics get a lot more intense as they go on. So right now we're just kind of putting blocks on switches. But they, they innovate and iterate upon that feature quite a bit. So it still gets a bit tricky at the start. But you've got to learn. So one of the base mechanics is you can't bring cubes through with you. So you've got to find a way to sort of, sort of uh, get rid of this gate so we can continue progress. So if we were to do this, we can see this deactivates the grid. So bringing this cube through is no trouble. But then the question is, how do we open this gate? Well, we need two, so we can put this one over here and open it just fine. So yeah, this is the, the more simplified uh, puzzles, but as we go on and on and on, it's going to get a lot more intense. So we can just put this little baby over here. And when I say a lot more intense, I mean it. Like This can be a head scratcher in the best kind of way. So if you're into this kind of game, I think this is going to be right up your alley. And it's something that isn't usually on Nintendo platforms. So this is cool. Uh, so this allows us to teleport cubes around. So usually we can't get through this gate. But if we were to put this on the teleporter, go through ourselves, we can just do that. Easy as pie. And up we go. Incoming com from Dr. Leia Alami. Oh, we got a call incoming. Hi, Angelica. Having a nice time just throwing my historical Oh dear. Relax, Leia. Just a batch of experiments. So we're already seeing this game can get quite intense with its lore, and the story as it goes on, there's, there's a mystery that you sort of unfold as you go through the game. Uh, so it's more than just solving puzzles, there's quite a huge narrative element to everything. So again, we can get rid of this grid by putting the cube there. Putting it here wouldn't do anything because you need two to open this gate. But then the question is, how do we get this cube out? Well, I'm glad you asked, the viewer. What we can do is simply teleport it out. So this one's going to teleport around. So what I'm going to do is put this over here, take this one out, put it on the ground, and simply put the teleporting one on so that we can move the regular cube out. So now this can go here, and then this can teleport out. So now we have two cubes. But then I guess the question is after that, how do we get them both out? Well, I can put this here. That's going to keep the gate open, right? So then we can just go whoosh and whoosh. Beautiful. If the Miiverse guy was still around, he would say this is good looking water. Because this is good looking water. Okay, so now we have three gridded areas. There's a teleport there, and a teleport there. So what we can do is simply put this in the middle, teleport it through. Alright, alright. Then use this as a way to jump. Get that, and put that on the teleporter. Hang on, though. Oh, I've got to put this back on the teleporter here. And now, I think I should be able to just zap them both through. So there's one, and duo. Yeah. So this is flowing pretty well so far. I, I'm sure there's going to come a point where I just, I'm, I'm going to scratch my head and be like, what, what, no, I, I, I need help. But so far, it's been pretty fluid. So we're jumping around quite a bit through time periods, and it's weird seeing like this sort of post-apocalyptic beginning with a more humble start, and we're just sort of getting the, the personal life of the main character here. Like just sort of peering around, you can see photos around the room, 
Uh, they just—they move the camera every now and then. You can see like a certificate hang up on the wall. Uh, there's a lot of law going on here. She plays guitar. She sounds rad. I'm a respectable woman. Oh, by the way, my research tutor says I might be done by next. All right, so now we get a bit of a chance to stretch our legs and explore the world. So as you can see, they're very proud of their puzzle solving there, framing pictures of cubes around. I would too, if I had invented something like that. It's just great seeing how they can pull all this visual fidelity off on the Switch. I can't think of very many other games like this. I can't think of a single other game like this on the Switch, in fact. And you always know, when there's a futuristic company like this, with all this great tech, you know something's going to go wrong. So that's the question. What's, what's going to go bad? It's probably what we saw in the start. Okay, and now... We are gonna get our gravity gloves. So what we're about to see in a moment is not only just picking up cubes and moving them around and putting them on switches, but we're gonna see how we can manipulate them with gravity, which is the core mechanic of the game. So we're about to go outside again and try out these new gloves. And it really does uh, open up the world to puzzle solving, and it makes the game into something that I've never really seen before. Thank you, floating thing. Alright, and up we go in just a mo. Alright, here we go, back outside again to solve some more puzzles. So as you can see here, we're able to launch these off there just by reversing the magnetism. So now I can put this on the switch and find my way back through. And again, there should be more. We can pull them both down and keep going. So this is where the game gets a lot more intense and a lot more demanding of you. But when you can understand and grasp the magnetism, it really does feel good. Uh, did I? Yeah, I got them both on. Cool. Warning: Not enough cubes to activate the pressure plate. So not enough cubes. And now we've got to find a way to somehow get the cubes through. Oh, that pushed me around. But we can sort of see what that did there, though. So what I can do, in fact, I think I've worked this out already. If I put this over here and stand on it, I can push it through the grid and then push the grid out. And then we can just walk out and grab it. So it's just great finding all these different ways to work around with the cubes and the grids. But it always feels good. And I think I know what to do here. We're going to go for a ride, baby. Woo! Beautiful. Okay. Gravity, huh? What's this going to do? So that changed a uh, property of the cube. So pressing R turns it from yellow to purple. Alright. So if I would put this back over here. I think we can just launch this back up again. Let's try. So now that's on gravity. Because it's, it's purple now. I think I'll be able to fly across. Let's test this out. If I turn around before doing this. Oh. Okay, so there's the problem. This needs to be yellow. Not purple. Let's try that again. I think it's still purple. We're going to turn it around when we get back up. It's all a learning experience. We've got this. So take you out. You are still purple. Let's make you yellow. And try again. And this should be better this time. Yeah, all right. I think yeah, I think we've got a hand of this. This shouldn't be too bad. All right, so what have we got here? There's two cubes behind a gate. There's a switch. There's a thingy. And we can't go further than that. Okay. So we're going to need those cubes to work on these switches. So that opens... What does this do? So we need two of these to open this. So we, yeah, we're going to need the cubes. What can we do here? Okay, I can't just push this out, because there's nothing magnetizing it. Although, although, I think we can put them together, right? Let's try this. Okay, so that should be causing a magnetic pull. And then I think I can just do this. Yeah! Oh, cool! And then we can free the other one! You're free, little cube. You're a freebie. Now, what do we do here? Okay, so that opens that. We, we can go through this wall now. But we're going to need a cube. Okay, I think I get it. So we're going we're gonna to need to launch a cube from here 
and get it on here. So if I take this one, put you there, then myself, I can just go like this, right? Oh, wrong one. We've got to do the right trigger, not the left trigger. Oh, but we didn't change the gravity, so this has to be yellow. Okay. I think picking it up changes the gravity too. Let's make it yellow when it's up here. And then do the right trigger. Is it open? Cool. All right, let's test this again. There we are. Okay. All right. And then we can just put you down. And we did it. Sweet. But there's more. There's always more. So what do we do with you? Okay, I can't get this one up. But there is something here. Hmm. I wonder... If I put this one up here, will that be able to do anything? I might be able to jump up there, actually. If I turn the gravity off, or on even. Hmm. Oh! Oh, that was enough to knock it off! No! <laughs> Come back! Come back! Alright, it's back. Okay, so we've got two cubes now. The question... Oh, okay, it's clear enough. I thought there's going to be more now. <laughs> we just got to put them on. Sweet. Alright. So the puzzle was just knocking that one off. And what are you? Are we done? Brilliant. Cool. So I think we're getting pretty natural at this, uh, this gravity stuff. But I have a feeling that it's going to test our wits pretty shortly. Oh, uh, now we can walk around her room. I, I just want to play this guitar. Look how rad this is. It's cool just being able to see what they're like. They've got a little bean bag, meaning like to chill, like a little indent in there. Look at these photos. They like the peers. They love they love the periodic table. Who doesn't? I love I love a good periodic table. Alright, let's just try and find out where we're going now. We'll follow the green doors. Oh, what's this? New PDA. Huh. What are you about? God, there really is a lot of lore hidden in here, isn't there? So if you like this kind of thing, if you like just sort of diving deeply into stories, I think you're going to find a lot of enjoyment here. Alright, so I think it's time for us to take a train somewhere. So let's hop on in. And take a little journey. Take a little cruise. And this should be taking us to a brand new area. God, the visual design is really good in this game. Like, it's just strikingly beautiful. And here we go. Another time to go to the outside world and solve more puzzles. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit scared that these puzzles are going to get me now. Because we've, we've um, sailed through them with relative ease so far. But they've only been teaching us the basics. So here's where I'm going to get a bit scared. But it is, we're going to a snowy area now. So that's going to be quite cool to see. Some variety. Because so it's been all forests up until now. But here, we are in a beautiful snowy area. Okay. So we can already see there's a little launcher here. A cube here. However... The cube won't go through the purple thing, even if we try and launch it through. So there's no use trying to stop it now? Like, is, there, is there a way to deactivate any of these grids? I don't think so. We're going to need, an, need another cube somewhere. This is a pretty in-depth one. Alright, where's another cube? Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's just put this here a second, see what this does. So this definitely deactivates the purple grids, but how do we get the cube through with just one of them? Curiouser and curiouser. I know what to do. We can do this with one cube. So let's turn the gravity on. Go on this switch, right? And while it's flying... Oh, the one we're gonna... Okay, go do that again. Go do that again. But while it's flying, we're going to uh, change the, the button that we're on and launch it away. So we're getting gravity off. And three, two, one, go. 
I'm not on the button. <laughs> Let's try that again. So again, gravity off. Put it on. Gravity on. Make sure we're on the button this time. Okay. Are we on the right button? No, <laughs> they cross over. Okay. There we are. It's go time. And then switch. Yay! We did it! So now that's on there. We can simply... Oh, hang on. Can we do it through here? Yeah, we can. Alright, we're, we're still alright. And then... Which button is this? This one? Where's that gonna go? So I think I have to get off the button now. Oh. Oh, no. So I, I don't want it to keep flying, because then it's gonna keep going and it'll be trouble. So let's... Just put it on the button. And we're gonna stop the gravity... As it comes through. There we are. I think we caught it. We stopped it. Alright, cool. That was that was more of a brain scratcher. I think we found our first stump there. But let's keep going. Alright. So we have two cubes. Hmm. It looks like we can probably squeeze one through that gap there. Can we duck? I don't know if we can. So that's that's fine. But we might be able to slide a cube through there, though, in fact. I'm seeing a lot of potential for cube manipulation. Actually, one thing I haven't shown you guys. Photo mode! If you press the minus button, you can take a picture of, uh, of the game's beauty at any time. And there's a bunch of cool things like camera roll, you can change the field of view, uh, change like all you know, like the saturation, the bloom. That's all cool stuff. Anyway, back to solving this puzzle. So, let's, let's just put these cubes on some buttons a moment, and we'll try and figure out the rest as we go on. So that is going to take down the grid. Though we need two of them. Oh, actually, can I, can I even get to this cube? I might have an idea for getting that one out. If we put on... Uh, if we do that... Will that help us? Yeah, that just kind of helped the other one more, didn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure. Alright, well, let's just put this one here a second. Well, now we have three cubes. So that's helpful. If we put this one right... Okay, okay, alright. Bear with me here. What does this one need? One over there. Hmm. I think we might have been onto something. By unleashing that one first. So let's... Let's go back. Let's put that one back there. And take this one for a ride over here a moment. Because may maybe there's more we can do. Can I just put you through the hole? No. But we do... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Although... Although, although... What we might be able to do... Yeah, ah... Something clicked. Something clicked. Let's go bring the other one back. So let's put this one here. All right, bear with me. I think this could work. I know I've had like four ideas for this, but I think this could work. So if I bring this... Okay. All right. So what we're going to do... We are going to put this one right over there. Put this... Where's it gone? Uh, This one? Yeah. This one over here. We're going to put this here. Create a chain. Do that. Oh, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Can this work? I think it- Oh, no. Maybe I'm going about this wrong. Like, is, is there another way to get that cube out? Like, I don't know. Let's, let's change- Let's try gravity stuff. I've not been messing around with that too much. Maybe there's more I can do with this. I feel like there should be a way. Come on, let's just- Oh, hang on. Hang on. I have, I have an idea. Can we drag it out more? If we- don't put them right next to each other. But instead do like something like... Let's put them a bit closer. So they're, they're pulling next to each other, right? I think we can do this. Oh! Oh! We did it! Okay, now we have three cubes! This changes things. This changes things. Alright, now... All my ideas are coming together now. Now we can slide this through. Yes! Ah, oh, Love 
it when a plan comes together. So now we can do this. Oh, I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew there must have been some way to do it. Hey, no, 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 no. We don't want that that Lego stuff. Oh, okay. We need to change the gravity first. Let's try that again. All right, and now that should be on the other end. It's all coming together, ladies and gentlemen. Now I just got to work out what we do after. <laughs> so this cube. Oh, is all the way up there. Alright, now what? Now we can put you over here. Which deactivates this. But then what? Alright, so this doesn't need to be on here anymore. And I think we might be able to push this through if there were another cube there. Do we have everything we need here? Hmm. If I can push this as far as it goes, like we do, do like this, ah, that's fine. Then put this here. So the gate's open. Oh no, you're coming back! <laughs> Go the other way! <laughs> Go the other- wait! Hang on, I can use this to my advantage, I think. If we do the opposite here, I might have just stumbled upon something that will work for us. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Okay. So if I instead put uh, anti-gravity on that, go like that, put this on the switch before it's too late, will that work? Not quite, but I think it could. This is all about experimentation. Alright, let's put uh, anti-gravity on that one. Go like that. Quick, quick, quick. You know what? I, I could just stand on them. I think I'm doing this a really awkward way. <laughs> I can just stand on it. Alright, you can just go over here then. Let's try this again. So, boom, boom. I stand this time. And then we just go... Kablawi! I'm such a moron. <laughs> Alright, and then... Now we've got to figure out what to do here. So, this cube... Is now on the ceiling. Now it's there. So what's this connected to? We've got one there. Is there another switch or something? Or is it on the ceiling? Is that it? Yay! Oh! Oh, it feels good to solve that one. I spent way too long trying to get that through. But we did it. We did it. You know what? That's probably a good place to call it. So I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, it feels great when you finally solve a tricky puzzle. But um, just the aesthetic, the level design, it's, it all feels really, really, really good. And even though I'm ending this video, I'm still trying to solve this puzzle in my head. Because I'm going to keep playing even when this video is done. So what, you know what I could do? Put anti-gravity on. Put that in there? No, I, mean, I think we got to... We can stack, though. We can stack them on. Although this does something. See, I can't stop thinking. <laughs> well, if you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments below. And are you going to pick this game up yourself? Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye, everyone. Oh.